Hey guys, Jared from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Nike Blazer Jumbo. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this. Let's go. So today we've got a look at the Nike, uh, no, it's not, there's no air technology in these. I'm just so used to saying it. But we got the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Jumbos and we got these in a UK size seven and a half. It's a European 42 and it's a US eight and a half. Let's get unboxing, shall we? Here they are. It's your typical Nike Blazer reimagined. I mean, personally, I prefer the normal Nike Blazers, uh, but from experience, and I'm pretty sure main man Jeff here at the back can tell you, they hurt like hell. Just trying to break into them. The fit as well is just, you need to break into them and they keep digging at this back of your heels. Boy, I can see vast improvements with these, but we'll get into that once we start with the outsole. So this outsole is an all rubber outsole. You can see the raised herringbone effects that's used there to give you, when it looks like shark teeth when you look at it from a uh, side view. But when you look at it like this, it's just lugged. It looks like it's gonna give me a lot of traction. Essentially, the Nike Blazer was a basketball sneaker. It was, I believe it was Nike's first entry into the basketball realm. And you can see it in the silhouette itself. The midsole is just a rubber cup sole in it. Nothing, no technology involved, unfortunately. So it's got that old school comfort that's on the underside of your feet. The upper is where it comes to the, you see the vast differences. Well, you can see in the outsole, but when you compare the upper of this jumbo blazer with a normal Nike blazer, the differences are far and far between. So you can see it here, all around there. You've got a stitched leather overlays. It looks like it's cut as well. It's right there. So it does look like a traditional Nike blazer. However, there are some different aspects to it. You look at the toe box first, so you can see the stitching there with the suede mud guard on the toes. Now what gives it the name Jumbo is this Jumbo swoosh. You can see it here, it's massive, bigger than your normal one and it like drips over onto the midsole, just overflows. And the back, I think the back is gonna be the deal breaker when it comes to um, a pair of Nike Blazers or a pair of Nike Blazer Jumbos. And that's because you've got this elastic corduroy-esque material that's at the heel, the back here. So it's easy to get your feet in. You got this little strip of plastic, of leather, sorry, to help you get your feet in. Also the tongue, it is more or less your traditional Nike blazer, tongue with exposed foam. However, the Nike tag here as well, that's on the tongue, is vastly bigger than its predecessor. Lacing system, traditional lacing system, right there. And you look at the heel, again, as I mentioned, you've got a little strip there to help you be a pull tab. And you've got these beautifully stitched navy blue. Well, no, it's not navy, it's not navy blue, it's like a university blue. Cuts there as well. Normal, you've got a foam insole, what more do you need? I mean, at the end of the day, these are like a retro sneaker and We'll see if it's better in regards to putting your feet in and the comfort when we do the on feet. So with all that said, let me show you what these look like on the on feet review. Roll that footage of me trying these on.
when it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Nike fit. My toes are where they need to be. It feels like there's enough space for my toes as well. The normal Nike blazers, they're too constrictive. And as you can see, if you saw me putting these uh, sneakers on, they were easier to put on because of the corduroy elastic back. Um, I don't feel like it's going to dig into my heels. So Jeff, personally mate, I think you were wrong. You should have got these. Uh, even though the Nike blazer is such a classic look, if you're worried about the comfort or, or you know, the overall health for your feet, I recommend these. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at 1UP Reviews with ZDDN. Until next time, peace.